The 2010 gun deer season is coming on, and now local taxidermists are preparing for a busy year. Emily Deem joins us live from High Wet Wild Taxidermy <laughs> with more. Hi, Em. Good morning, Pete and Rachel. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, that's right. We're out here in Green Bay. We're taking a look at um, how people, hunters out there, can preserve their prized possessions with some cool mounts, too. Now, Jesse Lewis, the owner out here, has been in business for 13 years, is here with me. How awesome is that, Jesse, that you have in your hands? Everybody, this is a wine rack. Could you believe that? Explain that for us. Well, basically, you just stick the wine rack, the uh, bottle of wine right in there, and it sits at an angle. So if you got a rack that uh, guys find sheds and do different things with it, you can do all different types of pieces with it. You can go right into building one of these guys here. I think that was one of your favorites, right? Yes, that is gorgeous. I mean, that's so unique uh, to have the antlers intertwined like that. And it's a lamp. Like, it's a lamp. How cool people can use everything, you know, from the antlers to all of that. Now, one thing that's great about the mounts is that you can actually have different types of mounts, habitat mounts. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, basically, you know, any deer head you got, if you want to turn it into a piece of artwork, we can, there's, uh, the companies are manufacturing new pieces of uh, driftwood that, that lock right in with the animal, help accent it, make it look a lot neater. I mean, this is about as realistic as it gets. And then there's other options with different ones. Um, these I can just pick out of a catalog and, and make from that. And then we can get into custom stuff also. You know, if somebody wants something real custom, it's not a problem to do it whatsoever at all. And whoever's getting their deer mounted or whatever they want mounted, it's them that gets to choose. That's what's great about it. Exactly. They can come in, position the ears however they want it, show what habitat, you know, form they would want. But mm -hmm. look at down here, everybody. These are elk antlers and to explain for us Jesse what's going to be happening with these antlers well the elk antlers were woven in together to make and lock into a real solid piece we're getting a piece of smoke glass that's going to sit on top and it's going to be somebody's coffee table mm -hmm. so for a cabin or somebody's house that's designed for outdoors it's really a neat thing and it's as simple as a little horn like on the door over here <laughs> yeah. you can accent your house for little door handles Gosh, it's just so great to see, you know, the hunters put so much work into going out and getting their deer, whatever they're getting, mm -hmm. and then to be able to use it for so many different things is actually pretty cool. It's awesome. Nothing's going to waste. Yes, and it's great artwork, too. Literally, it is artwork. It's beautiful. So we're at High Wet and Wild Taxidermy. We set up a link on our website. If you want any information, go ahead, visit fox11online.com. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Emily. See ya. See ya.